is she playing? Why is it playing? Hang on, hang on. Hold on. Something's not right. Why on earth is it playing music? I don't want it to be playing music. Stop, stop. Stop the music, stop the music, stop the music. What? Why? No, stop. No one cares. Okay. That probably will have to be uh, taken out of the video. So hi everybody, welcome to the stream. Uh, we're gonna we're technically gonna try and beat Chet today. So we got a got my trusty Oliver hat and kind of kind of got a plaid shirt going on here. So Scottish guy, I saw Clayton was in here. We got Ch we got Chad. I'm just gonna kind of go over a little bit who we all got in here. Okay. Are we good? Are we live? We got it. Yes, that is correct. We have Chet Elderson's truck. We have, uh, I kind of made some investments and I found a way to get the Diamond Rio in ATS, so this is going to be kind of fun. <laughs> we got our stogie ready to go. We have a load of cattle we got to take from currently Casper, Colorado, Casper, Casper, Wyoming to Fort Collins, Colorado. And uh, afterwards, we're probably going to just kind of do maybe one, two, possibly three loads, give or take how long this is. I'll probably do this about two or three hours once again. But uh, basically, uh, we actually, I'm going to put a poll up because I might be wearing an Oliver hat right now. But I'm going to put some polls out there for you guys. We've got a handful of other hats that we can wear. We got Kinsey, my Prairie State hat, Minneapolis Moline. Uh, my Wilson hat, and then basically like an older style of deer hat. So I'll put up a poll for you guys. Once we get done with this load to Fort Collins, we'll have uh, which hat you guys want me kind of to wear. So I'll get that poll set up here quick, and then we're going to get on our way. Actually, I'm going to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. we got to add a few options here. So we got... It looks like I can only do four, so we'll do Kinsey. Kinsey, Moline, Wilson, Deer. What hat should I wear next? All right, guys, let's get on the road, all right, shall we? I like this truck. Oh. So this will just kind of be a nice one. I hope you guys are having uh pretty good start to your weekend here we uh as you guys saw in the community post i'm kind of getting ready to do some sunday fun day stuff jason thank you for joining the club welcome to the rental man welcome to the rental man group we're going to be getting started here a little bit earlier i uh, don't necessarily know how much i'll talk like chet but we'll definitely make a make a jump to it i'm starting with what now Hello everybody, happy Saturday. Welcome to the ATS live stream here. We are currently in Chet's Diamond Rio. We're gonna be trucking some bulls across state. Currently we are in Casper, Wyoming. And we got about a 218 mile trek to go here for here. So uh, not too shabby, not too shabby. I see we got another Mr. Boom, a Mr. Boom personnel in here. So they know the original name. see anything. It's going to the crosswalk here. I need to get one of those eye trackers so I don't have to use my mouse. The next hay video will just have to follow the cycle. I kind of tried to keep a little bit of the system going. I don't know when that one will fall into play. Likely about two hour, two to three hours, Tegan. But yeah, this should be kind of entertaining. Just kind of low, low profile. Sorry, Joshua, this is a private, not private, but this truck actually was bought, so I can't, I'm not really allowed to send it, but if I did, it'd be for other guys. So no, this is, this is a single player game. 
Oh, yes, that's right. I forgot about the game volume being loud. Thank you. That's actually for video stuff, too. How about that? Is that better? Well, if you keep aiming the same message box, that may be. No, that's still too loud. Hang on, we're gonna... We're gonna turn that down a little bit more. It is loud, and I can't seem to get that figured out. Hold on. We're gonna get this figured out. I haven't really done ATS much, so... There we go. We're running it. That one we're not going to be able to make, though. Oh, I know how to make plenty of friends, Nox. It's just that if you keep asking the same thing over and over again, usually it tends to get annoying. It's kind of, uh, kind of almost common knowledge. You want this mod? Well, you can actually get this mod. The problem is that it'll cost you 30 bucks. Because this, was the, this is the bot mod. I bought this mod for the videos. Sorry, Joshua. I'm currently doing a stream right now, and after today, I'm, I got a lot of stuff I got to do. Kubota. You see, I would, but the problem is I don't work with that stuff enough, so I'd say overall, the times that I have, it's a very good piece of equipment, but it's not something that I could give a very in-depth, detailed review on. truck sounds so good. Oh, now you get up and go. Slamming through the gears here. Currently we got 95 current viewers to my screen apparently and 25 likes so if you guys have not already be sure to smash that like button and if you guys also haven't uh, considered yet please consider subscribing down below as i hope i can bring you guys some fun content today it's going to be a little bit more smooth with ats content i uh, just kind of wanted to do something fun for the weekend as you guys know yesterday was uh technically supposed to i was supposed to do this last night but uh, this gear, this truck technically has 18 gears, but if we were to put it down in like first, it has like two basically get off the ground, but then it's a 16 speed. So it's 18, but theoretically it's only a 16 speed. I can't remember. I think this truck has a Detroit in it. This is American truck sound. But, uh, yeah, let's see how many likes we can get going here. we got 104 current viewers and already up to 46 likes. You guys are doing pretty, f pretty well. I'm proud of you all. But I hope you guys are having a great start to your weekend. As today is just going to be busy. I kind of wanted to get something in for today because I wanted to kind of almost break a record of an, a video every single day this entire week since Grant's been gone. Got 50 likes. That's not too shabby. Kind of like this. Kind of like this setup going on here. I ended up rearranging the majority of my desk, so I actually slid my computer over a slight bit. So it kind of really helped. Joe, thank you for joining the Mr. Boomnastic OG fan club. Welcome to the Rental Man Club. Glad to have you here. Hello. Reading chat, going off the road. I'm a bull hauler. I can do what I want. Let's change over to chat for a little bit. I'll tell you what, I got the. What is this bonehead doing over here in the lane? I tell you what, just stay in your lane there, pal. I ought to run over you. <laughs> mate. It's terribly sorry, mate. That's terrible. Oh boy, we're going all over the road. I don't care. I can't see anything anymore these days. 
Oh, I'm doing pretty fine, Joe. We're very good. Gonna be doing some shit Elderson. And this is his rig from the, uh, from the, from the, I got a cup of tea. I like cup of tea. Got so a lot of stogie. It's kind of nice. You can take, can you test rig? Of course I can. There you go. Got the engine brake going. Hopefully we can get this going on good day. Have a good day, Bullhorn. Got a lot of people doing stupid things on the left lane. We can go 80. Heck yeah. Put the pedal to the middle of the thing. It is the floor. Good off the Mustang on the right. Let's go. Come on, baby. Let's get it. truck back in the day when we uh back when we started the fs stuff for the old 60 series it's about the only truck we had that we could really do anything and i was like well you know chet's become more and more and more of a lovable character so what we ended up doing is that uh, i ended up finding the truck on a mod site for ats i'm like you know what let's, let's let's do a chet stream i like that mm -hmm. i just like to anybody that doesn't know that this is not my regular voice even though it's it's really, you can tell I'm just trying to do something I'm not. I, li I like it. It, it, it. it really does speak. We're giving Chet something of his own. He's getting his own branch off, branch off content. I'm a big Ford there. As you can see my big Ford, po Ford Power Stroke sign right behind me. I ain't no restricted by no governor. Look at that plastic truck. <laughs> we are hauling from Casper, Wyoming all the way down to Fort Collins, Colorado. Very true, Diamond Rios. And what's surprising is they actually made them apparently up until like 2013. or they, The company was around until 2013 from what I was doing research on. So it's not like they went completely out, but they were definitely a dime a dozen. Oh, the horn's not the greatest. I would have put the other horns on that were on the Kenworth, but the problem was that they looked different than the ones that were on the regular one in the game. So I put the ones from the FS the FS horns on there. Jet's right here. Not doing too bad, Josh. You're not doing too bad. We're having a great time out here. We got 113 current viewers and 69 nice likes. <coughs> Excuse me, all. Now, if you guys, uh, let's see here. Apparently, we got 62% on the poll want to see a deer hat on. I think we could do a little bit better than that. I'm kind of surprised the Minneapolis Moline hat didn't do better. Or the Kinsey. I like the Kinsey hat. But if you guys haven't felt it, let's get the let's get some votes in that poll. Let's get some likes on this stream. Come on, keep liking it up. Like spike, like spike. I need to get me another another like. I don't have no more ladder. You know, currently now this is not a regular convoy, so we don't really have any openings. You know, we're just a solo trucker. But if we do anything a regular live streams, then maybe we might be able to fit some people in. But for right now, this is a solo act. Yeah, let's get that hundred likes going. What old fuck I said. Hang on, we are flying through these towns. Oh shoot, it's cut us down to a 65. Oh dear. <laughs> Holy cow, we're all over the road. It's a nice Camaro. Apparently not very many. I actually just bought the truck a couple days ago. Hi, how are you? Oh, not much. Just, you know, having, having a day. Carry on. 
What the heck? Well, you did not see any of that. You did not see any of that. I was looking at chat. <laughs> Had to go around. Oh dear, okay. Let's try that again. Gotta take a slight detour. Oh, we're killing it. Hang on a minute. Okay, we'll get back to talking like shit when we can figure out where the heck we're going. Alright, Tech. Have a good one. Glad you could see the mess up before you had to leave. I did not hit the cop. I did not hit the cop, okay? I did, however, hit that. It's Chet's truck. He'll be fine. This is a Diamond Rio. It is an old school truck. We're just taking a slight detour. Why don't you shush it, FLD, okay? I'm trying my best here. This is not working. G'day. Okay, well, I'm glad you could join us from Australia. Let's kind of get going on that here. We're out of our 124 people. Besides saying America, where are we all coming from here state-wise? Let's see. Let's see. Country-wise, even, too. I know we got, a, we got an Australian here today. Usually, I'm surprised. I usually see quite a few people say, uh, I usually still, like, I don't know. I kind of lost track. But I see some, like, Montanas in a lot of the time. Hey, that's good. Illinois, USA, Kansas, Arkansas, Alberta, Canada. That's what it is. I see a lot of Canadas. We are currently hauling bulls right now. Well, steers. Cattle. Moo-moos. We're hauling moo-moos. And we just have to take a bypass to get back onto Fort Collins. Norway, Wisconsin, Massachusetts, South Dakota, North Carolina, Indiana, Colorado, Iowa, Oklahoma. We're kind of all over the place today, aren't we? Metaphorically, chat-wise, and physically, because I'm smart. I just cut that Kenworth off. I just cut that beer build off. We're getting over. Ah, that's right, South Africa. Maryland. <laughs> get him, get him back there. Actually, how far are we till we need to turn it over? That's the one thing I hate about having a mouse for this, is it can kind of do that. We're good to get over. And now we're back on route. And I'll be watching the road this time. I keep forgetting, my camera's there. Ooh, that's a toughie. I like Hondas because of the fact they actually have transmissions where you can paddle shift. Can-Ams are nice, though. Uh, currently, I will actually... I've never played FS15. At least I did. It was on PS3. I'd have to buy the game for PC. I mean... In all fairness... Okay. Hang on a minute. There we go. Let's check our mirrors here, make sure we're good to go. And we are, because we were actually smart when we did this one. I do like PDs. PDs are good. Pennies are also good. Now Rio might be another one. I kind of like my Rio. I uh, sadly probably gonna take PD over that. I'll take PD over Mac. Sack. I could sneak through there. Oh, we just went over the hundred like marks. Ooh, we could go to IHOP. I like to go to IHOP. Hello, Farmer Nick. How are you doing today? 
This is not a Kenworth. This is a Diamond Rio. <laughs> it's Chit's truck. <laughs> we actually almost got to switch out the hat. And still, by 55%, the old deer hat is winning out. So we will put up another poll. I'll end the poll here once we get to the end of this. And we're going to put back up the other options. I technically can put back the Oliver hat back on there. But I do kind of want to have uh, some more options. So we'll probably swap that out for the Prairie State hat. What I'm hoping for, though, is that we don't have to, uh, you know, uh, drive like 300 miles to get to the next paddle drop-off. And, of course, we have to wait for a train. Let it roll. 104 likes. Where's FS? I don't know where FS is. He just didn't want to show up. Usually, he's very on time for this kind of stuff. Oh, don't you tell me he's stopping. Dom's Jeep XF. Oh, I love that thing. That's a 12. That thing is bad to the bone. Do not stop on tracks. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Again, if you keep messaging and acknowledging it, Knox, you're going to be ignored. The only reason I'm acknowledging it is because you keep pushing at it. Like, don't keep saying it. And then you, then it won't be annoying. Bored. Well, it could be worse. It just keeps coming. I also put in the mod where it's an intermediate long train, so it could be like half a mile. Oh, look at that. There's the end. Nice. I bet these doors are cold in the winter, because that's just straight steel. Little Caesars Pizza Pizza. Make sure there's no more. Is the game is the game volume better or is it still too loud? Because I still think in my headset at least it might be a little loud. That was good on the transmission. It's fine? Okay, good. Glad we had this conversation. That's what I was thinking, that it's it's not bad, it's better, but I can still turn it down a bit. I love this truck. This truck is a 13. The only thing that I don't like about it is be you can't change the mud flaps on the front portion of the wheels. I'll show you what I mean. That little... The mud flaps there. They hang, like, way too close to the road. They're basically scraping them. If I could take those off, the truck would basically be exactly Chet's. Actually, does this thing have the windows go down? They do! That's cool. Look at a little, little crank window. <laughs> nice. Volume sounds great. I still might turn it down just a hair. Deer at 53% on the hat. So if you guys do not want to see me wear a John Deere hat on the next round, you got to vote for the other three options. have my New Holland hat anymore. I gifted that one. I gotta get a new one, but I wanna get a sir <gasps> We're actually on a ranch. Yes! Oh, never mind. Not really, but yes. Yes, we are. Okay, please tell me I don't... I swung that wide enough. I don't know if I did. Eh, it was close. No, we ain't getting Cheddar back. Why would we do that? get one right on top of the stacks. Oh, missed my spot. Hang on. We get the one that's up here. Yeah, we'll do that. Now, where do we need it? Of course, it's going to be, like, jam-packed in here. Uh, 
Where is the loading bay? Okay, there's that. This is gonna be a pain because this trailer is like, it's not long, long, but it's like awkwardly long. To where it's not gonna be very fun to get this in here. Hit the curb. See how well we can do this. See how well Chet can drive. Uh, let's see if I can get. There it is. I want reverse three. Right on the money. <laughs> Look at that! Right between the buoys. A little close on the right side, but we'll we'll call it good. Excellent. It is the best. It is the perfect job. He did it spectacular. I couldn't have done it any better myself. Oh dear. Okay, now let's see what we got going on here. Yellow cattle, red Ooh, we actually have different ones. Okay, so what should we do? We could go to Arizona, which that would be a relatively long drive. So, mm, it's about all we're going to be able to do. We could either we either do a very very short one, and hopefully they have a cattle one going, or we could do something way longer. What do we do? What do we do? Do we go do? I don't even know how to say that of Arizona. K K Kenta Kenta Kenta. K I don't know. Kenta. I think that's Kenta. <laughs> you should use interior cam to back it in. I would, but I have to adjust my mirrors because I put a realistic FOV, so I need to swing the mirrors out a little bit so I can see a little bit further down the trailer. All right, so we're gonna probably do the Arizona one, so that way we don't take the entire day to go do this. So we'll take the red cattle one. Oh, it's night. We're not doing that. We're going towards day. But what I need to do is I'm going to turn down the volume here just a hair. A little bit more. There we go. Eh, let's turn it back up a little bit. It's kind of quiet. There we go. That's good. So, now we got 600 miles to go, and with the pole ending... Hang on a minute. End the pole. The results are in. Deer with 51%. You guys have spoken. Fifty-one percent voted deer here. So now with the next poll option, we still have. We'll get these going here, so you guys can get this going by the end of this. The end of this trucking load, whatever percentage wins, we get to wear that hat. So now we have Kinsey, Moline, Wilson, and Prairie State. Marty would like that. There we go. There is the next round of voting. Let's see which one wins at the end of that. What we're going to do is we're going to find our way to a truck stop here because I am not going to be driving in the stream in the dark because that's kind of a, a pain, which is not too, too dark out, but I'm also not on the road. Unless you guys want me to see me drive at night. Like the old school cattle pot? Very nice. I like that. Where's Chet? Jeff's right here. He's, he's currently on, uh, he's currently riding a shotgun. <laughs> oh, he's, he's just slacking off here in the back. So we got 600 miles to go, got a full tank of diesel, half a pack of cigars, it's dark and we're wearing, hang on. My cigar fell out of my mouth. Hang on. 
There we go. Now I got it wreck. Let's get this still on the road. These lights are terrible. Get a road on here. Hang on a minute. Read and chat. Kind of hard to read chat. We got 160 current viewers. Let's see if we can't get a couple more. Obviously, that's a hard tall order to do that. But if you guys have not already, we're going to do a little bit of thing here. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, comment on the stream here. Let's get this thing going. Get people in here. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel as we are uh, much obliged to have you here today on this fine Saturday afternoon. If you haven't already, also be sure to check out the Boomstick Club for all the up-to-date content from me and the gang. Also be sure to check out the Rental Man Spread Shop to get yourself some gear. And without further ado, let's get back to the stream. Smash that like button. Let's go. After we go and, you know, sleep, because I'm not going to be driving in the dark. Drive it at night? Okay, never mind. We got someone that says drive it at night. We'll let you guys go. By the time we get to the rest stop, I will uh, see here if I can keep on there. But we're driving this jet. Why do I need to talk like Roscoe? Chief? Who the heck's Chief? Oh, get going, get going, get going. Daytime for the win? I say, do we drive it at night or we drive it at day? We're driving at night or we're driving at day by the time we get to the thing. What was I saying? We got two, we got three lights to one day. We got another night. Day, 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 day. I seen a lot more days. Yeah, it looks like we're going days, boys. We got, oh man, Prairie State's winning the next hat, the next hat contest, 36%. Yep, it looks like we're gonna be going today here, so we're coming up on uh, going up on a rest stop. Hopefully, we can uh, get ourselves a little nat nat. I don't know what the heck happened to the corn hoofers. I didn't know they were doing anything. There's the rest spot. We'll do a little bit of this camera. I like that. That's a little bit of a jump. Sorry guys, we uh, about as much of the night as we're gonna get because the poll has spoken. We are going today. Go to the Home Depot though. Or I can go to KFC. Get me some Kentucky Fried Chicken. I think we got ourselves a Detroit in this thing. Now let's see how easy this is going to be to get into. That doesn't seem too bad. Now the real question is how on earth am I going to... Oh, I'll have to back it in. That's not bad. Just the... Uh, yo... Okay. We'll be good. Now what I might be able to do here is, uh, this is going to be interesting to see if I can back this in at night. With the mirrors. Alright. I'm not going to hit anything here. I know where I'm going. There we go. Right between the buoys. Oh, hello. Maybe not. I do not have VR, but we don't need to also have our flashes on either anymore. Let's see if we take this spot right here. It's a lot harder to do at night. Moo Moo's get to rest. There we go. 
rest it up. And I think we're gonna, uh... What the heck? No. Okay, so we're gonna drive at night, but it's 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> That's so dumb. Okay. KFC. KFC. <laughs> uh, hang on a minute. I don't remember my button to do... Okay, so that does that. There we go. Let's adjust these mirrors. I need to have this one go out a bit. Maybe up a little bit, too. Wouldn't hurt. I don't have a hood mirror. Hood right. Side mirror. Oh, that's that's not that one. That's, that's this one. It's the same thing. Put it out on the right so I can see a little bit further back. Small mirror on the left. Want that to be down a bit. Because I can't see very far down at the side. Small right. Oh, that one's terrible. I need that one to be, like, way up down. Okay. And that should be good. And the lights should also be fine. Okay, let's go. We are driving a Diamond Rio. This is Chet Elderson's truck. And technically, this is not the correct bull hauler, but it's a Barrett uh, hot belly. Kind of more or less an older style of cattle trailer. So, kind of fits the... Kind of fits the memo. Don't know why we had our brights on. We got 106 miles to Chicago. Got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. So let's get on the road. I think this is the one that says we're going to Arizona. So we're going to be heading south where it's a little bit warmer. To all of you wonderful people just joining in, because we currently have 166 live viewers. Uh, we're doing fantastic. I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. Currently playing American Truck Sim with a Diamond Rio as... Uh, I'm not talking like him currently, but basically going after the... that That's a curb hitter. Playing as one of my glorious characters, Chet Elderson, the old fart. Uh, it's 5.45 in the morning, so it's going to be dark for a little bit here. So you guys will get a little bit of a night drive, but hopefully by the trip's end, we should be in the daytime. I'm going to let one of the moderators take care of that one. If you're so persistent about wanting to be having attention. And, of course, we need to stop with the weight station! I am glad I looked. Okay, wow, that could have been ugly. Fine, we'll follow orders. Good trucks follow orders. Except if you're a bull hauler. Nah, we'll do it today. Very, that was way too close for comfort. You are correct. Prairie State is still winning at 39%. Just got done watching Grant's new video. Well, how was it? I actually uh, haven't really looked into it yet. Stop here. Stopping. Inspect. 72,000 pounds of, of uh, meat. Back on the old interstate here. Oh, come on. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Bobo. What a, what a gentleman. He's a gentleman and a scholar. Well, hello there, Frank. How, how is your day going? Currently, we are just ch chetting away, as we might as well call it. Currently in uh, Chet's Diamond Rio, hauling some bulls, having some fun. Are we going three wide here? Oh, nice. 75 mile an hour, let's put the pedal to the middle and the thingy to the floor. Somebody want to timeout Knox? I do not want to be dealing with that. If he wants attention, put him in timeout. I'm not dealing with that. Chet 
is not in the hospital. Get is alive and well right now. He is a secondary character. Uh, no, I have not done any POVs of my side when I was playing with Spencer. That's what I'm going to start trying to do this year is doing that kind of stuff. You did it! Yay! For now, of course. But no, that is stuff that I kind of want to do is get into more of posting that kind of stuff. Is getting more of my content like Square. If Square's recording, I'm recording. If Rant's recording, I'm recording. Now the 80 series, that one's up in the air. I don't think I'm going to do my side of that one. Just because that one's more pertained towards Grant's perspective. We need to get over here. Squeeze in. Let's get on 216B. What happened to the gold mine? That I don't necessarily know. That was a whole deal between us and Clutch, and it just kind of... Oh, jeez. Hi. How you doing? That was just something that Clutch ended up... Uh, we just haven't really gotten to talk to any of these guys. What's with these cars? There we go. A very smart Lincoln. But we just haven't really gotten in contact with Clutch about it again. It's not like it's something that we couldn't probably do. It's just... It hasn't come up. Well, yeah. But that's also because that's more pertained towards the series line. This is just Chet's... Just having fun with Chet, because now, like, the new 80s series, uh, he's back, but it's basically in the time frame when he would still been around for the, uh, the, oh, the Murphy Brothers. I about said the Nelson. I'm like, that's the current, that's the current boys. Uh, lane, uh, right lane ends. Okay, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Moving over. I'm trying to actually drive correctly. How many people am I voicing? Uh, pretty much any character that you see in Grant's thing that is not me or Grant is basically me talking. Now, of course, if we were to have someone like Jake Square, his brother Spencer, or Garrett in, that would be them. But, like, Chet, Richard, Lamar, really any of those guys is mine. Roscoe, that's also been me. When we do Dukes of Hazard stuff. Oh, come on now. We gotta try and get over here. Come on, Charger. Get over. Get, get, get out. Mustang, get out of the way. I think that's a Magnum in front of me. Oh, now I gotta ship down. Hang on. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Like, with, fucking like with it. Fucking like with it very hard because of the fact that uh, it's... Eventually, it ends up starting to talk like him, and he's, just, he's a very good guy. He loves the guy. He's doing very well to himself. Now, Richard, I love, do I love doing Richard because of the fact that he's... The way he has his lisp is because his teeth are supposed to be missing in the front, and then he also doesn't... He has a mustache, so it's like he's talking through the mustache with no teeth. So it's, it's kind of like trying to talk to his gums. So that's why he's got the really bad lip. I don't even know if I could do the... Hang on a minute. Let me get a drink. Let me get a drink in my massive water here. Try not to slam into the back of this Mustang. Get the Jake going on here. And uh, we'll, we'll try and do the best Roscoe. It's been a while since I've done him, so I'm not 100% sure if I know how to do him. I'm going to cut him and stuff him. Alright? Don't do it, boys, but not get across that county line before I get my rear end over here with Flash! Scoot over now, Flash can't see! There you go, there's your Roscoe for the day. Currently got 170 viewers here watching us on your ATS stream. Now, if you guys haven't liked that stream button down there for Hazard County, we need to get as many likes in this stream as possible. So smash that like button, we're gonna go for 300 likes. Flash? Flash is my trusty hound. You don't know who Flash is? Flash is the best gosh dang hound dog on this side of the Hazard County. Oh, I love the Jake break on this truck. Now we're kind of lighting up a little bit. 484 miles to go, and dang, this thing is not very fuel efficient. Oh, 
put the stoplight in the middle of an interstate? I like this camera, but then I also really don't because then it's like I might have the chance that I might mess up and I'll hit something. You know what time it is. do bandit I don't know about that one I can't do bandit uh, Euford T justice I don't know if I can do I don't know if I can do anybody from Smokey and the bandit I'm gonna be rear-ending this Lincoln here if he doesn't get his butt moving Buford? I don't know. I don't know if I can do Buford. Oh, this is 30 going down here. Okay, that makes sense. I think this has a Detroit, if I'm correct. We're just going to idle high. Oh, truck speed limit's 35. We're going down the mountain. Just do a Jake break down the whole thing. I gotta think of a really good line from him that's not like crude and that I wouldn't get demonetized for it. It's about a minute since I've also seen Smokey and the Bandit, so. Lois, Lois, I'm going to the store. We're gonna have to go buy some eggs and milk and I'm probably gonna jump off the roof with a shopping cat. Let's see here. Ah, oh, what does he say when he walks into the diner? Give me something and then Dr. Pepper. Jesus! Oh, idiot. Hey, can you tell what the Napoleon Dynamite? Oh, man. Come oh, on. Idiot. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. It spins a web. <laughs> I'm taking El Diablo and a Dr. Pepper. Make it quick. I'm on a hurry. Ah, the Terminator. I'll be back. Are you Sarah Connor? No, oh, that's terrible. Uh, I don't know which one I'm supposed to go on. No, we're not supposed to go on that one. Okay, good. All right, now here we go. Roll the windows up, and here we go. Prairie State's still winning the hat contest, so... We'll have the Oliver hat back in the runnings for the next round, but uh, the deer hat, it's uh, it definitely sweeped the floor with 51% last time. When is the rental man going to come back? 
He is the rental man. I'm talking like him right now. That is Ashton Corners of what the 80 series is on. That is a BC only map. I'll be back. Okay, Terminator, we'll see you later. Say my name. You're damn right. It's Walter White, Breaking Bad. <laughs> Get in those Daisy Duke shorts. I don't have any Daisy Duke shorts. I got jeans on. That's about it. 90s John Deere tractor. That's the problem. Is I don't really know what... Like, I couldn't... When I look at a sound guard, I think is what they call those. Like the 4440s and the 4755s and all those, whatever it was. Uh... I just think of those as tractors from the 70s and Grant's like 8110 from the... I think that's a 90s generation deer. But that'd probably have to be there. It's like the 8110. I don't really know what tractors are from deer in the 90s. Oh, Mickey Mouse. Oh, no. I don't want to do voice impressions. I honestly don't know who uh, Lecter is. I kind of feel dumb. We live at 50. Oh, we're doing 46. We're fine. We're just cruising. Actually, put it in 16th. Save some gas. We'll save, save some diesel. What's your favorite pickup truck? I personally. Oh, we're in Colorado. I think we just crossed state lines. Definitely can tell we're in Colorado. You can all you see is mountains. I don't necessarily know when the FS Club uh, leggings are coming in. I bear I'll just basically make a post about it. I'm never actually going to wear them, though. It was literally bought just for the joke that FS told me that no one's bought them yet. I'm like, <laughs> bet. A Model A. That's a pretty sturdy vehicle. I, if I could, if I had the money right now, the storage, the ability to take care of it, that's a, one of the biggest reasons. Like, technically, if I really, 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 really wanted to, I could probably get approved to get the car off of, like, a bank loan, but I would never be able to actually care for it, store it, but it'd be a 2012 White Boss 302 Mustang. I thought the Rocky Mountains would be a little rockier than this. But John Denver's full of crud. I mean, I would like to drive a truck, but I think I'd more or less like to just drive it for a farmer, where I don't necessarily have to have a CDL, but I'm like trucking grain. I wouldn't want to do like this, where I'm trucking across country. I don't like to drive, like, for long, long, long extended periods of time. Ferrari F1. Oh, and I'm thinking of McLaren. McLaren P1. I would love to have a McLaren P1. I love McLarens. Well, currently I'm following a Mustang. That's not going to be a cheap fix. But also, my bumper's not going to have a scratch on it. No, I do not watch Formula One. I just know it's a very expensive version of racing. This Mustang's about to eat my bumper. Oh, look at that, we got, his younger we got his older brother behind us. I actually prefer... I prefer that body style of the Mustangs. Except a little bit older, because I think that's like the 2005 to 2009. I like the 2010 to 20... 13s, but I prefer the 2010 to 2012. We're gonna see if we can't. We'll have to let this Mac in. I just like how we're actually driving nice now. We're we're, we're driving correctly. I am a shit. I'm whoa. I'm a Ford person. That about slipped out. I've started to like Chevys more, but I still would buy a Ford and a GMC before I went and bought a Chevy. Z 
See, I wouldn't like to put extra like big rims on that stuff. Like I might put a set of like a set of rims if I bought a truck on it, but it would be nothing big. I mean, it'd probably be something like what my dad did. He put just gear rims with regular factory all season tires on his truck. It looks factory. There's no lift kit. It's just kind of basic. Not rolling on 35s. Pontiac. Yes, Jason. Absolutely. I love Pontiacs. I'd buy a Pontiac before I bought a GMC. I know they're the exact same thing, but I don't care. I like GMCs better. I like their styling. Now they actually look more distinct from each other, but, even, but back in like the 90s and the 70s and all that, yeah, they were just basically, you take a Chevy, you take a, a Chevy and a GMC, and you just put a different grill in, a different badge. Kind of nice and relaxing. Either way, both those trucks are going to run like they're, they're, you could stick concrete in the fuel tank and it'll still run. Heck, if you really wanted to get fancy with it, you could probably put sugar in for oil in the thing. With you cannot kill those old engines. A 350, 454, 396, 409, all of those motors, they, you can't kill them. Like, indestructible. Of course you actually can, but, you know, compared to a modern 1.4 liter that'll probably just blow up going up a regular hill, and then they stick those motors in a truck and stick a turbo on it and call it reliable, <laughs> yeah, that's going to throw a sensor within three miles. I am an Arizona Cardinals person. still got 300 miles to go? Holy cow. Oh, I thought we were still doing the Wyoming trip. Never mind. I'm dumb. Well, no, we were, we were doing... No, never mind. Drive a Ford. You'll be on the road for days. Drive a Chevy. You'll be sitting on the road for days. Each brand has their own problems, each brand has their own flaws, and each brand definitely has their own pluses. I just prefer Ford over all of them, even though I drive a Honda and a General Motors product. I would still to this day buy a Ford if I could. If the map actually came back out, my favorite map was Lincoln Creek, but currently it's probably the Nebraska Farm Series map, which is Green Valley. Both of those were PC mods only. Unless Lincoln... No, Lincoln Creek was a console mod, I think, at the time. Back in the day. But the converted version wasn't. Basically because they're both Nebraska maps. Yeah, seven threes. If it's the IDI, that's another motor you can't kill. The inline six and a seven three IDI. Don't even worry about them. Oh, what are you doing, Shell? Oh, he was waiting for JB Hunt to get off the road. There's a good-looking car. This actually isn't a series, just having fun. We got 175 current viewers, so if you guys have not yet already, please sure to smash that like button. We're gonna see if we can get to 300 likes by the end of this, as we've actually been live for an hour. So uh, we're probably gonna try and go for about two, if not three hours worth of streaming on this. So be sure to drop a like, be sure if you haven't already, possibly drop a subscribe as we're on the road to 100K this year. We're trying to get started off right, as we also have tried to post a video every single day this week. I don't think that pattern is going to continue now since Grant is back in the office and I kind of will be working with him towards throughout the day. But be sure to check out the Boomstick Club for all the up-to-date content for me and the gang, as well as check out the Rental Man Spread Shop. Get yourself some gear. 
have some fun. Without further ado, let's get back into the live stream. And you want to know what's funny about that, guys? That is my version of an advertisement for you guys. I'm not going to send you to some ad unless YouTube does that on their own. Sweet, we can pass through by that on our own. We don't have to go through. Bye bye, Shell. But yeah, I'd rather have to. Do, I'd rather do something like that for you guys than to just click the little button that says, "Now nah, we're going to watch an ad." I definitely like old school a lot better. Let's get it back up to 75. Do I have enough room to fit behind him? Yes, I do. If you want me to have Spencer in this, both Spencer and Grant, I believe, do not have this game, nor do they have wheels. And wheels are what really make this game fun. So it wouldn't really be in their best interest. They would definitely be able to play it, and it would probably get some decent views. But I don't think this would be up their alleyway. This Diamond Rio is public, but it's actually a paid-for mod. I paid $30 for this truck. The, the, the uh, pot belly I'm pulling behind me, though, is not. That is public. You can get this trailer. It is ownable. You can drive it around. You can pull it. But the truck itself is a bot mod. I just wanted to have it because, obviously, it is Chet's truck. So, uh, currently, I am driving one-handed. But that's also why it's like I'm trying to like move my mouse, so I kind of have to. But on a regular basis, I usually, if I'm driving my car, if I'm driving my car, I drive one-handed. Well, hello there, Robbie. How are you? We have not done an open multiplayer for where people can be joining. I actually want to try and this year at some point, which I, again I can't guarantee when, if, or how. But I do kind of want to do something where I might do like a weekend stream where you guys can pop in like I did a Michigan map last year. Yep, this is definitely a Detroit. <laughs> pop that back down here quick. Oh, not too shabby. Can I do a death wobble? Maybe. My mouse straight back up here. There you go, there's your death wobble. Hey, I'm gonna need to get some diesel after this. This truck is not fuel efficient in the slightest. I'm trapped on the wrong side of the road. Oh, so I just play ETS? Euro Truck Simulator? I could do that. That'd be the same thing. America! We drive on the right side of the road. That's kind of just the fun part about it. It's like it's not going to be, of course, exact. And I honestly don't know how much more I'll talk like Chet throughout the stream, but I'll do it from time to time. But yeah, this is Chet's truck, and the fact that you can, I, the fact that I can do it, and the fact that Chet actually just kind of caught on with people is really fun to me. That is the new stream background. Everything you guys see behind me is considered technically the new stream background. There's nothing really over there because over here on the left side, it's just like my little fireplace. And a helmet, which is going to be used for tonight's video. If you guys have not seen the community post, I went and got myself a, a new, basically a sport bike helmet. But I'm going to use it for uh, tonight's video I'm doing with the guy. So, What happens if I wreck or hit a car? Basically, I send him into the barrier. And uh, I get truck damage and the car just stops. Nothing really of it. I kind of turned off all of like my tickets and stuff, like air brakes and all that. Just because when I play this game, it... I like the realism part of it, but then it's just nice to just kind of drive around. You have to go to bed. Here it's only 1.47 in the afternoon. Taking a nap? Oh, you might be a completely different time zone. Slow it down, slow it down.
Oh, the, the gas station. I need fuel. About half a tank. Ooh, go to the grill, though. Actually sounds good. I got the rest of my Subway sandwich in the fridge. I finished my breakfast sandwich, or I could eat my lunch sandwich in my soup. We actually, uh, by the looks of it here, if someone wants to give me a like count that we were at, I see a two, so meaning we broke the 200 like barrier, so let's see if we can shoot for that 250, if not 300 mark. I don't know how far we're going to be able to go up on this, since this is not a regular style of content for the channel, but let's see how many we got. 178 viewers. If I can do my math correctly, we still got about almost two hours worth of content left if we want to go for three hours. Actually, no, we might not be able to go two hours. Well, we actually we might be able to. If we go three hours worth, then I think we might be able to hit our 500. We've been pretty good at hitting 500 likes in a stream, so let's uh, let's, let's keep dropping those. Let's kind of keep an eye on that. I think that was probably red. I don't know though because I was driving. I was looking at chat. But, uh, yeah, the truck, to, this truck's, uh, actually, I don't know if this truck would be meant for, oh, this looks very familiar. I know exactly where I'm at, maybe. I think I'm up in Nevada right now, because that service station looks very familiar. Yes, what Jason said, smash that like button. Thank you, car, for letting me in. And now we start our trek up to 65, right after we smash the back of this Wabash trailer. Uh, I would do a five-hour live stream, but the problem is, one, I couldn't do a lot of those because my internet that I do this stuff on is limited, and two, today I have uh, other plans that I have to do tonight that I actually had to squeeze this stream in because I was in, I was in town all morning because I had to get some stuff for tonight, which is what I had to squeeze this in between, is before I go to do my stuff tonight, I wanted to get you guys in the stream for today. Be jet for five minutes? We can do that. Set ourselves a little bit of a timer here. Being jet for five minutes. So now, if we haven't done anything on this yet, we're gonna get ourselves up to speed here. Hang on, boys. Get in the driver's seat. We're gonna put the pedal in the middle of the thingy to the floor. Get this thing up to 70 miles an hour and hopefully not wreck it. <laughs> Give her to the beans! Well, now, I hope we're all having a great day out there. It is a wonderful day out here, and I believe we are in Arizona or Nevada. My glorious Diamond Rio here, we're currently hauling across country, and uh, I might be having to go back over to the Nelson Bros this week since we got ourselves another round of uh, pot bellies. It looks like he's going to be ordering here. I don't know what kind or if uh, how many we got going on there, but they're more than likely he's going to be buying more hogs, and I'll probably have to haul for him, so I'm going to get over. I can't tell if that's a Charger or a State Patrol, but we're going to find out whether or not I get my lights flickered on. Cruising through the valley here, trying to save fuel where we can. Glorious day, we have 39% on the old hat count for Prairie State. Marty would be proud of y'all. We're running two deer hats back to back after we ran an Oliver. I don't necessarily know where we're going to go from here after that, but we've been live for one hour and 11 minutes and almost 11 seconds here. Give it about, oh, I don't know, five, six more seconds, and we'll be at exactly 11 hours, 11 minutes, and one hour, 11 minutes, and 11 seconds. There we go. Tennessee chick. Tennessee chick. What the heck you talk about Tennessee chick for? Looks like the wife and I ain't gonna be able to go to church on Sunday. I'm gonna be home with bulls all weekend. <laughs> Ex-wife, that is. That's a good reference. If you guys don't know what that is, go check out one of the latest 80s videos where Chet has to deliver some, uh, deliver some cattle. You're 10? Well, I'm 5. Chet's about 65. 
Gotta gear down, otherwise I'm gonna stall. Hold on there, Bessie. Hello, Chad. How you doing today? We're gonna be talking like Chad Elderson. I was given the task to talk like Chad Elderson for the next five minutes, so we've been doing just that. We can't go stop and get ourselves some go-go juice because I'm currently on the middle of a mission. Oh, that would not have been good for the transmission. Put it back down to low range, here we go. 519 for diesel, what do you think I'm made of, money? It's actually pretty cheap. Not really. It's cheaper until we're getting closer to Cali, though. EPA can shove it up where the don't stick don't shine. Ugh. Chet was... Chet has passed, but here's the thing. Ever since the 1980s series, he was basically back and reincarnated. Back to that series because at that current time he would have been alive. This is just for fun to either A, honor his memory, or B, just have fun with the character. Yes, in RP, he passed away in the 2020, but, or maybe a little bit before that, I can't necessarily remember. But we're bringing him back, because we're having fun with that. Do a live stream in the, that's real, that's real specific. Gotta wait, find it, there we go, there's my gears. Got a minute left of talking like Chet, what the heck now? I don't know who Corbin Phillips is. But he seems fairly important. I've seen that name come up a couple times or two. Look, as they go. I'm not too sure about that one there, Farker. I think Chet's the goat. Good evening. Well, good evening. Glad you could join us here for our stream tonight. Got 159 current viewers. And it is green. See, I could do that. Actually, that, that might be the only way I would do content on the 80s stream is if I did it through uh, a live stream. I probably wouldn't make any videos, but we still got a couple more events, kid. We still got a chalk like shit here. So I gotta. Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. Oh, uh, we're turning on the wipers. We're breaking things. I can't control it. Breaking it. Hang on a minute. We're breaking things. I can't do it. I'm trying to do three things at once. It's not working. Okay, Chet's going on break for a little bit because he can't control himself. It's 156. 258. Do you have do I have a girl? No, I do not. I'm a lonesome loner. Making his way in the world. One day at a time. Living the dream. That and how I act on stream probably explains a lot. <laughs> I cannot tell. Is that as true? No, that's just a regular charger. Oh, don't go off the road. Don't go off the road. Don't go off the road. There we go. There we go. Slow down just a little bit. No, uh, Brown, you were not able to play as this is a single-player, uh, single-player game. I do not know about that Dodge uh, Ram. Best mod and farm sim. Easy dev, lumberjack, realistic cab view. I do not start a save game without those three mods. I thought you had to go to bed, Maximus. This might be... I know it's a Detroit, but I don't know what the other part of that is. Krankenbaum? Krankenbaum? The German? Then you lied to me. You sir have, you sir have now um, earned yourself the right to not be responded to by me for the next 20 minutes. You lied to me. I can't. I can't do that. 
I have played SnowRunner before. It's one of those that I kind of want to get back into and bring content in as well, but I kind of don't want to update 50 gigabytes worth of stuff because I haven't played it since, like, it came out. <laughs> Canada! European tractor. I don't really know very many European. Probably Kloss or Fent. Eh, probably Kloss. But mainly for the Combine, the Lexion. But of course they have a US branch now, so... They are German, I believe, so... Slow it down, 35, here we go. Well, this... The engines that are on this truck actually came with the mod, so... I don't have any engine mods in for this. So if that's what we, if that's what the sounds on this thing are from, then that explains it. Favorite tractor of all time is the John Deere 5020. Old school big brute. I might look into that, but I can't guarantee that I'll use it. Uh, if you're referring to that one, like, 50-foot trailer pack, I have no idea what's going on with that. No caps in the chat. If we have moderators in the chat, time out the people that are doing that. No caps. You will be timed out if you do caps. It is a... It's not something that we're trying to say that you are not important in the chat, but it's something to keep that, uh, basically attention-seeking. Where's Dirk when you need him? I, uh, I just looked up Diamond Rio for ATS. Now, this is a $35 mod that you're gonna have to pay for. But, basically, it is a public mod that you can get, it's just you have to pay for it. I ended up buying it for obvious reasons. It's to go off a of Chad Olderson, but there's a lot of stuff that you can actually do to this truck. Uh, you can have the painted frame, you can do a couple different rims. It's got a lot of body options where you can make it look uh, like exactly like Chet's truck. It's pretty cool. No, Grant will have to wait until we make more money before he can get a grain cart. You guys know how I am in that 80s series. I'm very strict on where the money for that series goes. Well, that sounds like a personal problem. Get better at strapping things down to trailers, man. Come on, now. As I slam into the back of a container truck, that's that's real good. I'm a great driver. Actually, technically, yes. If you're t if the H shifter means that I'm shifting one, two, yes, I'm pretty sure I have an H uh, H pattern. Because I'm running basically an 18-speed setup. I don't have the fancy knobs, though. I have two buttons on my steering wheel that changes the ranges. Uh, cheapest wheel that's good, I don't necessarily... Bryce with the $7, what I appear to be Australian. $8 Australian, so thank you for the super chat. That is very much appreciated. But uh, the cheapest wheel, I honestly would say, is probably the farm sim wheel. I don't necessarily know. I know Thrustmaster makes a pretty good one that Jeff Fabiano was testing out. That he is like, this is a really good starter wheel. But I would prefer if you can find one that's good and solidly built. Like, one I have right now lasted me eight years before I bought another one of them that was basically brand new. Logitech G27. You can find them cheap for about $300 in good condition, but sometimes people will, uh... Sometimes what people will end up doing is trying to sell them for $1,000 since they're out of production. But with the G27, you get the wheel, the three pedals, and the shifter, unlike the G29, where it's... Uh, you can only get... Uh, you have to buy the shifter separate. 
The only plus with the G29, though, is, is I think it's like the G920, is that they are PC and console compatible. The G27 is only for a PC setup. Except unless you're playing, I believe, like PlayStation 2 or some PS3 games. I remember when I used to play Need for Speed Carbon on PlayStation 2, I actually used to use this wheel back way back in the day. It's 2 in the afternoon. I'm not going to bed. G923, that's what I'm thinking of. Or G920 or one of those. I want to get the Eaton Shifter where it's the top and you actually have the high-low range and the flippings and all that stuff. But uh, it's just, it's not right now, it's not in the budget, so... If I do more ATS content, then I'll definitely invest in it, but for right now, it's just... I like my Shelby shift, shift knob that I got for the car on it. Tractor tires is the steering wheel. Oh shoot, probably shouldn't put the brights on. Um, the one that Logitech sells that does not come with a shifter by factory, but you still get three pedals, is the G29. That wheel itself is, I think, what, three, four hundred dollars or something? That's probably going to be your best, like, if you want something that's stably built, has, like, one of the better qualities, and it's going to last, so you don't have to buy another one, I would recommend getting something like that. Because if you go and buy those ones that are, like, 129 or even under 100 bucks. They just, their quality just lacks. They're very flimsy, they don't work right as well, you don't have, like, it just feels cheap. It's like buying trash bags and toilet paper, you just don't buy the cheap stuff sometimes. Well, I'm glad, Chris. Started a towing company and already... That's a solid move. Always do that. Hey, we're actually here! Nice! Uh, not too shabby, Mac. We're actually just now arriving at our destination. I'm probably going to go to bed at the truck stop here so we can technically start the next load. Uh, hopefully here soon. Since we still have only been alive, what I'm actually going to do is I get to use the bathroom after this. So we're going to stop at the next stop here and we'll be right back to regularly scheduled programming. Oh, almost drop. Got to drop a gear. Here we go. Come on, get to the intersection. Here we go. Got 145 current viewers, so before we go to our little break here, let's see if we can get a like spike and get our uh, people up here and have some fun, get a lot more likes. If you haven't also yet, please consider hitting that little sub button, clicking that little bell. But uh, we currently now just have arrived. Let's make sure we do not hit our trailer. Jake gave me these icons that are on the floor, so I can't... Oh, I just not going to make it, not even in the slightest. Okay, back it up. Here we go. We're going to need to swing that a heck of a lot wider. Hang on a minute. Who makes the entrance to this thing like this bad? Going in the ditch. There we go. Where does this need to go? Looks to be on the far side of that, maybe? Yeah, it's probably on the opposite side of that forklift. Going to the 90s? Oh no, I don't necessarily know what we're gonna do with that. I think we just might wanna keep it the 80s, but I haven't necessarily decided. This is going to be interesting because I still have no idea where this trailer is actually supposed to go. Let me at least see where this thing's supposed to go. Oh, it's supposed to go way over there. Okay, hang on. I don't want to hit that forklift. Am I going to hit the forklift? No, oh, we're like way away from the forklift. Oh, we gotta straighten this thing out way bad. Okay, I'm just gonna do this one here because I don't want to do it tonight. 
The truck I looked up on Google, it is a $30 mod that you have to purchase. But it is public for American Truck Sim. You can get this truck. When I get the time and the cycle comes back to it. Why on earth will we be delivering cows here? That's always my question. Sometimes ATSs like drop-off spots make no sense. There we go. Alright, so what we are going to do quick is I will be right back. I have to go use the bathroom and we will be back to trucking. We'll get ourselves a new job here and uh, be back on the road. Maybe. Pickle screen. And we are back. Let's get this back on here, and we will end the poll with Prairie State reigning supreme. So as stated, let us swap out to the Prairie State hat. Now rocking Prairie State with Marty. Now let's get here. The next poll up. Start the poll. Add a couple options here. Kinsey. Moline. Uh, Wilson. And Oliver. Get it. Put those there. Actually, let's put these back up here. Next four hats going up in the queue. Top of the computer. Let's go. Of course, Oliver's coming back. Come on now. Let's let's do something different. We will continue there. Let's just see what these guys have to offer. Okay, that's not bad. We can do that. We'll just go to Arizona. A little bit shorter of a drive. Well. Let's be actually let's go back up to Utah. Or Arizona. That's all the way down there though. I don't want to do that. That's that's too close to California. Mm -mm. So 
So we will go to Cedar City, Utah. Oh, I modded that myself. I used, I like did the whole, uh, you modify the, just the number on there. And then you like find a way to save it without crashing the game. And then the game just saves your money and level. The level I've actually worked up quite a ways. I think I only leveled myself up to like level 100 or something. But the rest of it's all I've just worked for. Basically, yeah, you just not tweaked an XML, but you basically modify it like that. So we are going to go and fill up with diesel since we are now full 274 miles on this trip with the Prairie State hat on. Got Moline now leading the charge at 34%. We're going to go and sleep so that way we can wake up and be driving in daytime. Uh, that is just an actual computer thing itself. Some computers just aren't built to do gaming or playing that kind of stuff. What the heck? I thought it swung that wide enough. Apparently not. Okay, try to do that again. Well, we're going to fuel up here at Exxon. Hopefully, where is the fuel? Oh, come on. Hey, swing it on the outside here. I'll basically have to re-go and I'll go through that one. Any takers on how much this is probably going to cost? Five dollars. Oh, dear. Five sixty-five. Four sixty-six for diesel. That's actually not bad. Five six. Oh, we had a real close one there with Mac. Nice, as well as Jace. So, fuel. Well, let's get back on the. Uh, let's get over to the rest part of this. Basically, it's going to drive through. Pump to the left. Uh, I was going to say $60. That'll cover a quarter of a tank. Not even. An eighth of a tank. Just don't hit the barrier. Just don't hit the barrier. Just don't hit the barrier. Nice. Alright. We're going night-night. Speaking of shell, there's shell right there. This is... That's not going to work. Wait. Wait. I can sleep right here. Yes. <laughs> Bull hauler. We can do what we want. Ah, oh, look at that. Perfect. That cable out of the way, I'll probably tear that off my foot. And we're back on the road. Looks like it's a really good lighting for this truck. I wish I had a roll coal mod in. Hey man! I told you. I gotta watch what you do. We'll get you, I gotta fill in for Dirk. Well, thank you for, uh, thank you, Skyrider. I'm glad you enjoy all of the, uh, little farm toys we got in the back there. I gotta start, basically, uh, the, 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 the store that I go to to pick those up, Bombgars, uh, I've kind of bought almost one of all of the diecasts that they had on the shelf that were, like, actually the good quality ones. So now I gotta go and get the international ones they have, or the New Hollands, because I basically bought all the dear ones I could. We got 134 viewers back, so not too shabby right now. For an ATS stream, we're actually doing very, very well. I'm very proud of you guys.
farming is coming out. If you guys are not already though, please consider smashing that like button down below. So we're gonna see if we can get to 250 likes. If not, we're gonna shoot for 300 by the end of this stream. So we hope you guys are enjoying the live, the live stream we got right now. If you also have not, be sure to smack out, or check out the Rental Man Spread Shop for all of your not going to be slamming into the back of that because I'm watching where I'm going. They're waiting for the cops. Uh, check out the Rental Man Spread Shop for all of your gear as I do offer quite a few ranges of products you guys can invest some funds in if you would like. But also be sure to check out the Boomstick Club for all the up-to-date content from me and the gang. I will try to continue some videos with Square. I really do enjoy working with the guy. He's actually a very, very good person. I do. I love the way this truck sounds. The stream has currently been up for an hour and 37 minutes. Likely, there's going to be, depending on the length of the load, we have one or two loads left. Because I want to do this for about two hours, maybe three, give or take. Come on, Knight. Get up to speed here. It's 65. It's probably a plastic nose truck. Yep. Alright, bye bye now. It's possible I might do some homeowners crossover stuff with him, but I highly doubt I'll do a dedicated one with him. I can't. There's a double yellow. That and I don't trust myself enough. Plus, he's kind of getting up and going. Screen time? No, I am currently not. That's our turn. That's what I meant. We didn't have to turn because I actually had the turn. I see. I, I, was, I was doing that. Yeah, I, I knew what we were doing. to page 53 miles I just like this it's just a very calm relaxing ah music If I was thinking I was king of the road, I'd be doing this. Oh, wait. I am. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to be able to happen, Grayson. Scheduling would not even remotely allow that to happen. Plus, you're... You can go more than three miles an hour through the construction zone. City drivers. That's why they should not be out on the roads. Come on now. Of course, he's right in front of a cop, too. People are idiots. Well, thank you, Jesse. I'm glad you're enjoying consider checking out the rest of it as uh, today, this week we got a full load of content for you. I actually ended up if I can get tomorrow, if I can do what I'm doing tonight and get it posted for tomorrow we've literally done a video every single day this last week. Now that will, I want to try to keep a relatively steady pace after this but the reason that I could do that is Grant was gone in Colorado all week doing some snowboarding so I basically had the whole week to do whatever I needed to. Now I gotta go back and work with him, so. Homeowner series is probably your favorite. That is, seems to be a very uh, a very consistent pattern. Now the landscape series, give or take, if that video's view range falls off, like it just kind of tops out and then just kind of sits there, then we'll I'll be able to diagnose it. But for the homeowner series that technically is my, it leads the charge. I am on a second generation, I believe, Squad Plus PC. 
So it's an Apex gaming PC that was already pre-built. I don't necessarily know the specs that are in it. I could give you a couple ideas, but it's like a four-year-old computer now. So it's definitely kind of starting to show its age because I run it 16 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, basically. Favorite truck mod? That one I don't necessarily have because I've done uh, quite a few, to be honest. But the and I like my I like my F-150 that I've done. I've liked the F-Series because that one tested all my skills. Uh, I've worked on the Ram back in 19, but that was converted by DTG to 22. So that's a really good truck. It just kind of all of them just kind of really nice. Oh no, thank you. Handyman for the job of you working. Hold on a minute, I'm kind of confused here. Uh, I don't necessarily know what you mean by that. Okay, well, I guess we're going now. We're ball hauler, we can do what we want. I do not make Kotla mods. Sorry, bud. I will say it time and time again. I've tried. Giants doesn't like me. I could just play Farming Simulator and mow grass because it's basically a better game than that. I like the idea behind it, but it's not really as good of a game as I thought it was going to be. Hello, USA Gaming. I just blew a transmission right there. Damn, I just blew a transmission. Come on, Impala. Oh, this is 25, that's why. Salt Lake City, 319, 310 miles, I think. I don't know, I went by the board a little too fast for my eyes to see that. Driving a heat wave, a tropical heat wave. There's a cop behind me. When any console stuff comes out, I get no news of that. I just look in the mod hub and go, ooh, new things. Yeah, except when there's a sheriff or a highway patrol or someone behind me, I'm not going to be doing that. Google.com. 
Google.com. There you go. No. Uh, ATS is not a, co a console game. To my knowledge. Yeah, 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 smash that like button. Let's see how many we can get here. I'm just concentrating going around Ben, so I can't really look up at the chat. Nope, it is a diamond reel. Google.com or myownstuff.net. Those, uh, those are the main sites that I use. I thought he was coming into my lane. Ooh, okay, that one scared me. Yes, I love the Jeep that came out. That thing is absolutely so cool. Hey, look, it's me. There's the rental. The rental man. Ah, yes. Well, that seems like a fun time. I hope you enjoy that. So those are two very great games. I currently use a Logitech G27. The wheel itself is actually out of production. They don't make it anymore, as the G29 is the one that replaced it. But the G29 is also, like, you could use that for PlayStation console, PlayStation, Xbox. The G27 you can't, but I prefer the G27 because of the fact when you buy it, you don't have to buy the shifter separate. It comes with the wheel, the three pedals, with the brake gas clutch, and the shifter. You can find a decently priced one of mine for about $300 if you want to try and get one. But you also got to watch out because there's a handful of people who think because it's out of production, they can sell it to you for 1000 Too. Thrustmasters are also really good, but those also can be a lot more pricey because they're also a lot more customizable. I'm not necessarily going to say they're all private, but there's a very good portion that are, either due to the fact that I've worked on them, I've been gifted them, or I just use stuff that is like Patreon things, so I can't really give out someone else's work that I had to pay for. That or I just find them. Google's your friend. We are hauling moo-moos. That's what we've literally been hauling the whole time. We've literally been hauling moo-moos. So relaxing. Let's actually put down the windows. Ah. Depends on what you're trying to play. If you're trying to play something where it's more farming related, I'd, pre I'd prefer Green Valley, Nebraska. If you're looking for something more uh, city like or like logging, you want to get a forestry map. If you wanted to do business-like, you're going to want to try and find a city style of map. It's like, it really depends on what you're trying to do. I have different series for different wants, different needs, and they're all on different maps, so... Just kind of got to explore. They're not cheap, but I honestly, if you were to get a wheel, I would put the money into a good quality one. They're like trash bags and toilet paper. There's some things you just don't go cheap on.
yet. I haven't done Roscoe in like over a year. Plus, Chet has a truck. Roscoe doesn't have a truck. Roscoe doesn't have a dedicated cop car. It could be something completely different every time. Chet's got an absolute unit of a semi. Slow her down. There we go. There we go. Now we're rolling through the hills. Kind of gear down. I did not do Chet. Chet Olderson came into the field when we actually did the 1960 series in FS uh, 22. Our first one with the Murphy brothers. Parker, well, thanks for stopping by. We enjoy having you here. Hopefully, we can see you in the next one. Very true, very true. But this is Chet we're talking about. He doesn't listen to anybody, so he can do whatever the heck he wants. If he wants to drive the speed limit, he'll drive the speed limit. Uh oh. Someone got hit. Oh, no, it's a stoplight. What the heck is this Peterbilt doing? Oh, it's a Kenworth. What the heck's that Kenworth doing? Oh, we're beating the old Kenny off the line. Here we go. Well, currently squares it over 100,000, so... You do the math. I love this truck. We actually have to get over here so that we can get into uh, the next lane. So we got to get up on the interstate here. I think. Yeah, we have to get to uh, I-15. Okay. Pull, pull. Oh, we got the Wilson hat taking charge now. Why is it telling me to go on that one? I could just do this. Why? Why would I? Why? Why would I take that route? Uh, Volvo, I'm coming in. Get over. Wow. Thanks. What a kind driver. need to turn on the heater in here. It's kind of cold. Oh, if you guys have not uh, yet known, we have Jerry the Pineapple back there, the FS Club, uh, the pineapple head that I ended up getting. So he just he just kind of chills back there. He, he's living the dream. Got to make sure the pineapple's watching at all times. Sorry, Clark, cannot. Chet runs solo. There will be times I might do ATS convoys where you guys can pop in, but for right now, Chet's a solo act today. Uh, we will check once we drop this one off. I guarantee you, I know it's a Detroit, but I can't remember which one. I love how there's like no dead zone where the truck doesn't like turn, but it's like this wheel, like this would be how much play is in the wheel before the truck would even actually turn. Cedar City! A nice sign. 
I like that sign. Yo, what's up, bud? We're actually just finishing up on our... What looks to be hour and 57 minutes, so we got an hour left, more than likely. Maybe one, if not two loads, give or take the length of them. Let's get this on the road here. There's no one coming. Nice. Oh, I love these intersections for this. Almost took out my tires on that one. Yes, this game is actually very, very fun. Now, of course, you'd want to play this game with mods since that's really the best way to make it fun. But you can get this game. It is very entertaining. The truck I'm using right now actually is a paid mod that I paid 30 bucks for. Uh, we could go to the In-N-Out Burger, but it is a Diamond Rio. The, uh, the Barrett Bull Hauler that I'm currently using, though, that is a public mod you guys can actually get on if you wanted to use that. Well, hello, Briar. I do believe I actually have that truck. Not enabled right now, because I had some problems with mods when I was trying to get the stream set up, but yes, I do believe I have that. I want to go to IHOP. I really want to go to IHOP now. Yes, you should be able to play ATS on a laptop. It just has to have enough, you know, power to actually run ATS. We'll see you later, Sky. Have a good one. Yes. I like the engine to sound like it is shaking like a freight train. Look, 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 Big camps. I love big camps. That's got to be just right, though. It can't be, like, you... I hate to say it, newer, newer engines that have, like, massive camps, I do not care for those. Old school engines that just have a big lope to them, those sound so good. You gotta be joking. You're gonna sit there and tell me that I now have to wait for possibly two trains because the intersection couldn't be made on the opposite side of the tracks. I can't remember how much ATS costs right now. I think it'd probably be somewhere around the $30 range. Give or take. I don't know, though. 20 bucks, 30 bucks, somewhere in there. It might actually still be on sale. I can't remember. Oh, I hear that grind. Just kind of scoot forward. It truly does. That's the motor I have in my Kenworth. I love that truck. My day cab long frame Kenworth. Oh, don't tell me I... Are the cows on the tracks? No, they're not. Okay. Why can't you go any further forward, buddy? <laughs> You know what? We're bull haulers. I'm just gonna push you up to the line a little bit closer. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> go a little further. Go a little further. There you go. Now I got enough room to get around you. And that's how you do that. Uh, it would actually be really, really cool. Oh, killed it. I got. Hang on. I was looking at chat and it made me miss the corner. Do a moose test. I don't know what a moose test is. All right. Now where do you want it? Where do you need it? Oh, sweet, we can go to the... Oh, of course, we gotta go all the way around to the left, because we can't go to the right. That makes perfect sense. Or maybe we can. 
Heck yeah, we're going this way if we can. Oh, it's just not marked with, uh... Oh, sweet! Again, this drop-off point makes no sense. Why are there cows going into this warehouse? Unless it's the, uh... Oh, it could be... Could be Butcher. I don't know. This is the Barrett cattle trailer. I could. I changed that plate to say Buck on it instead of Barrett, but... I don't know. I don't know how to do ATS mods, so I can't do that. It fit the truck better, though. I was gonna use the in-game, the in-game one, but I'm like, I just don't like the look of it. Now I can do this on the interior, as long as I don't hit that container. Nope. Gotta go forward again. Yeah, we're just gonna do this one on the outside. I ain't about to mess with this. Straight back. What the heck were we getting damage for? I'm not even touching anything. Oh, I probably hit the storage unit. I think we can still fix this. Might be able to fix this. Just straighten this out now. Actually, I can back a trailer, like, easily. I don't know what the heck the problem's going on here. Kind of a bad spot to be able to load a trailer. Do not hit the front end. There we go. There, here, here we go. Oh, hang on. Ride your pedal tractor. Can't do that. We might be able to do that at the end of the stream. Okay, let's see here. Late? Oh yeah, I slept through the night. Oops. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that. Uh, I just don't record my part with Grant stuff. That's why that's not a thing. And it's kind of built that way because the way Grant makes those videos is uh, I don't necessarily have, like... My perspective wouldn't really make very much sense because I'm running around doing stuff that just wouldn't make sense. And at the end of our second to possibly last poll, we have the Wilson at 38%. So, swapping out for Wilson now. Eh. Ooh, Kinsey about actually won that one. Oliver ended up not getting that. 156 votes. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Now, let's see how many more likes we can get on that. So, smash that like button if you're not already. We've got 145 current viewers. I believe we have time for possibly, give or take, what this has to do. Hmm. They do not have any for this. Um... Do we just not have anything view global target market? Aha! Where are we at? Cedar City here. Cedar City, Utah. Let's just do a short one here to Selena. And then we'll see if we can find something else. So, beforehand, let's get our next poll up here, because this will obviously be able to do that. So, add the options in here. We have NZ, Moline, Oliver. And since we're already wearing, we've already worn those two hats, we're actually going to keep those out of there. So, we've already used those guys, so let's get rid of that one, get rid of that one. And let's see. We have enough time. We might be able to wear all five hats. But both deer hats are out of the out of the running, and then the Wilson hat now will also take out there. So, Kinsey or Moline's not stall the truck. Get 
this bad boy out of here. Oh, that was close. I don't see any trains, so we should be good. I'm gonna go 20 miles to go pick up the next trailer, and we should be good. Um, got a handful of cars that way, and one car here, so we'll probably go after him. Course, there's a Mustang. We're going for it. We already called it. Basically, we'll get in the turn line here. I'm going to need to shoot over, so I kind of got to wait. These people are so kind. It's almost like I did not do what I was supposed to do. Now I got to wait for this Lincoln. I got to turn, people. We're a bull hauler. Get out of my way. Oh, that... Mm, I got to turn. I'm going. Whether you like it or not, I'm going. Now you're in my way. It's possible I might convert that pack at some point, but I highly doubt it. The walker mower might be the only one I might actually try to convert, because that one actually had, like, of course, the floating deck on the front. Just push the Impala out of the way. I would never start a uh, save game without easy dev, lumberjack, or realistic cab view. Those are my top three favorites that are just general mods that I never can start a game without. Garden tractor for 22. Um, if you're referring to something with 82 Studios or David, same person, I don't know. See anything? That should be good. Oh, we're glad to have you back. Oh, hello. What the heck am I rolling back for? Oh, that is a nice Eldorado. Well, DeVille, I can't remember. No, that'd have been a DeVille, I think. No, no, that was the Eldorado. I can never remember, because I always remember the Eldorado, I think, was... The Eldorado was the four-door, and the DeVille was the two-door. What the heck are these road systems? No. I don't make console mods. I have said it numerous times before. I tried making a mod for console. Giants does not like me. That was his fault. He should have seen the bull hauler. This one, I got it. For him to go by. Literally, what are these roads? I've already answered that one, Nelson. Let's see here, well, two hours and 11 minutes. Eh, this very well could be the last one. If not, the next load will be my last. Well, that's not a four way. And I hit my wipers again, trying to shift down. Come on! All right, Cooper. Well, thanks for stopping by. Glad we could have you here on this fantastic stream. Hopefully.
Shift down here. Almost to pick up their moo moos. 2012 Boss 302 Mustang has to be the white trim with Recaro seats and a white ball shifter. If it's not that, it is not the right car. I've thought about using a controller from time to time because, I mean, I do have one, but... I would, I, why, for this game like this, it's like I just use my wheel. I'm going for it. I'm already through the intersection. I still swung that wide enough, and it still hit the car. This trailer, I don't think it's a... I don't, I don't think this is a 50... 53 foot trailer. There's no way this thing is. But it acts like it is, and it's driving me nuts. I wouldn't have a rear end. Very true. Well, there's going to be a video on that here coming up sometime. I got to wait for uh, some stuff that I want to use to make uh, the setup a little bit more convenient or stuff. Oh, come on. Literally, I can't swing it very much wider. That is the one thing that's driving me nuts about this trailer is that it actually is like, it. it's not a bad, it's not a bad trailer, but it's just driving me absolutely insane. Because it's acting like it's a 53-foot trailer when I know that is not a 53-foot trailer. Well, actually, that might be. It's very possible. Oh. No, that's not a 53-foot trailer. There's no way. I am in this great state of Nebraska. Yes, what Levi said. I am Christian, but that is not for this. There's no politics, no religion, no none of that. And also no workout stuff. I will not be doing any of that. How is that the trailer damage? This game just makes me mad sometimes. It's all good, MTB. It's just it's it just helps keep the chat from causing unnecessary drama. And uh, we are probably only 113. Eh, we'll do this one in the dark for the Wilson hat. Dark themed hat. Dark themed a uh, dark themed drive. We'll do one of these at night for you guys. Oh, state-wise for the game, I believe we are currently in Utah or Colorado. We're either in Utah. I'm pretty sure I'm in Utah. Yes, we are currently in Utah right now. Going from Utah to Utah. Yes, there will be a lot more Southern Justice stuff here to come. Uh, I just haven't necessarily got stuff figured out with Jake and Fang when we're going to be doing another one of those. But I will be doing more of that stuff. Just today, I just kind of wanted to do some stuff with Chet. Turn green, turn green, turn green. I don't want to stop. Oh, now you turn green. Well, hello there, Jarhead. We are currently blowing up our transmission as we speak right now. I can't seem to get the ranges to go right. Oh, we'll see you later, MTB. Glad you're here. 
be a part of the stream here. Hope you enjoyed. No, we're not doing that. Oh, that's right, we gotta go check out what engine's in this thing. Plus, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to uh, take a little break off the road here, so, well, I have to get over, though. We're just gonna do that quick. We're gonna go over to the service shop. We're gonna see what we have for engines. I'm just gonna cut across here. Bull hauler life. I need to get over. Okay, we're gonna let the U-Haul truck go. Go! Go, go. just go. Jeez. It's almost like people can't drive. I think we need to change that N to an A. Jason. Yes. Thank you. If you have not already, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to the stream down below as uh, we're currently driving with a bunch of idiots, me being one of them. And uh, we're having a great time here on this stream, driving our Diamond Rio with the shit Elderson's rig. Oh, now you take off. So you can, you can get moving real quick, but you can't even start driving real quick. Wow, this guy's a real intelligent driver. That's why you don't like common people drive the massive, like, F-650s for U-Haul. I don't have to drive a big rig. Uh... Half, pretty half decent. We're, we're making it. We'll leave it at that. Where is this service trigger at? It's right in here somewhere. Where's it at? Oh, it's back up. Hang on. So the motor that we currently have, let's actually fix our stuff here quick. 4,000, not too shabby, tires. But the motor we have in the truck is a 60 series Detroit, 735 horsepower. So actually I probably could. Uh, I probably very well could heavy haul with this truck if I wanted to. Yeah, because I got the best transmission for it in. Shoot, maybe Chet's truck could heavy haul. But we're sticking to bull hauling for the day. You cringe at the shifting? Well, I'm glad I can drive you crazy. It's my it's my personal honor. We don't need fuel, so I'm gonna get back into the in cab view here in just a second. Kind of get my way out here. There we go. Well, good, because we got 735, even though I'm parked in the middle of the road. Now we're getting to go on here. on the uh, interstate. Oh, all this driving is making me sleepy. Hey, yo, DJ. What up? We got ourselves a nodder. Road work ahead. Okay, where am I going? Road work ahead. Five. 
Oh, it's just on the side of the road. Okay, we're good then. Sounds mean. It definitely does. I love this thing. 60 Series Detroit. We finally figured it out. I love this truck. Up the hill here. Here we go. Wheel wheels. You know, we, we, we could use Jet's voice. Let me, uh, let me get the cigar going here. Well, you see, it, it actually is not too shabby. You were kind of flipping back and forth, but it's a lot easier just to talk like me than it is to talk like Chet, even though we're just, you know, pushing Lincoln Navigators out of the way because they can't drive. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to let you, I'm going to let that sink in. Get out of the road. Oh, don't be honking. Bunch of backstabbing weasels. They're seriously gonna make me take another alternate route? Seriously. People are stupid. Now we lost 20 miles off of our trek because of that. Hang on a minute. Nobody needs to have your road hazard driving rear end son of a gun on this road. I will just drive right through you. I do not care what's going on here. Get the heck out of the way of my bull hauler. We'll be right back. You're right, Buck. Get it up to 90. Let's see how fast we can get this thing cooking. Short time delivery to get this thing done. Here we go. <laughs> we got a long way to go and a short time to get there. I'm eastbound, just watch old bandit run. We're riding in the fast lane. I ain't getting out of here now. Okay, well, you just chose to get in the wrong lane, buddy. Get out of the road! <laughs> oh, there we go. Move it or lose it, people. Here we go. We are giving it the beans. We're going 88. If you get off here, though, so I'm going to sneak in. Whoa! Hold on. Hold on to it. Now we're logical. There we go. I mean, we need to get this stuff done now, don't we? Yes, we do. Oh, don't hit the back of that Tacoma. There we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Uh, it depends on how bad they cut me off. 
If it was like it would have caused my entire car to completely wreck, absolutely I'd be furious. Like this. Oh wow, I just... I tried to make that look cool and that did not work. I think that's a uh, Tundra. Well, we're definitely getting around him. Come on, baby. Bull haulers. Here we go. Come on, baby. Move it or lose it. Oh. Oh. We hit the brakes so hard it shut the truck off. <laughs> well. <laughs> Yay! Doing stupid things. We're going, I don't even know. There's a cop. Like this. You having fun over there? You having fun over there, Mr. Police Officer? <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's kind of small, isn't he? Oh shoot! I need to be in that lane. Okay, hang on. Well, this seems like a very Chet thing to do. I like how my audience is like, okay, so he's a very realistic driver. Now it's just, nope, he's just saying boo it. We're nighttime driving. We don't care. Yay! Semi truck racing. I actually have a race truck in here. I have a six speed Volvo that's the my little blue Volvo. You guys have probably seen that truck if you guys watch FS streams. Okay. That is very tight corner. And we made it! Nice! It didn't rip me off this time. That's way of life. Yep, move it or lose it. We're doing whatever the heck we want. Ah, yes. To the ranch we go. Follow the yellow brick road. I'm getting hungry again. Need to eat more for lunch. I got like a ton of food in my. No, this is not his last run. Well, if their only loads we have are really long ones, probably it will be. But if we have another short one, then we will most definitely uh, do one last load. Mirrors on this truck are like technically awful. Plus, it's nighttime, and I really don't want to be backing into things, so we're just going to use this. Why? Usually, it's to that barn. Come on. Of course, now we have to back it into a different spot. Why? <laughs> I'm glad I'm uh, providing you with entertainment. It's never a dull moment whenever you watch me play anything. Right on the money. This is like the most logical drop-off point we've had tonight. Nice. Well, clearly they have cattle operations that we could be doing for this, so... Fire that off. What semi-truck is that? This is a Diamond Rio. It is a 30, I think a 30 or 35 dollar mod that you have to buy, but you can look it up on Google. It's technically public. Let's see what these guys got to offer. Do we have anything that's in here that's short? Oh, we got one more shorty. We'll do this one. We'll make this one our last one. So I can't see who won it yet on the poll, but closing up the poll, we have the Kinsey hat. 
itself. Ooh, I like that hat. This is like my favorite hat. One of them. So, we got the Kinsey Moline pole. Sadly, sadly, the, uh, the old Minneapolis Moline hat wouldn't be able to use today. But it is what it is. But we will do one last run here with old Chet. We're probably going to run into town and get some sleep on this so we can be driving in the morning. But without further ado, we are going to run. Oh yeah, most definitely. 86 miles to go. That should be a fun little last stretch. Kind of maneuver our way back through here. So basically, I'd be running a Prairie State setup. Wouldn't be a bad idea. I'd actually probably use my Kenworth, though. I like my W900. Are you now, Colin? Well, that sounds like fun. Are you enjoying it? Oh, I better not go, because I have to swing all the way into that lane. I have a Kenworth T6, uh, T650. Or 60? No, 650 or 650. Whatever it is, I have one of those, and it's a day cab with a long frame. Oh, come on. Close the gates for crying out loud. Still no cars coming on that side, so we should be good. Glad you're enjoying it so far. The real question is, where is a rest spot from here? All the way on the south side of town. Okay, we're gonna go straight first. Cause I don't want to be driving again at night. I do have Texas. I have all the DLC states. Well, thank you, Noah. I'm glad you uh, enjoy the channel and thanks for stopping by. We are. Doing our last load here from Utah to Utah, and I can't remember the name of the town. It looked I almost hate to say it looked like Provolone, but it's not that. It's like Provo, Provo, Utah, Provo, Utah. Come on now. No, that's where I think we're at right now. We're going to a different town. We're in Selena, but we're going to like Provolone. No, I just got another load. But I'm going to the rest stops, so that way I can, uh, or a rest stop, so that way I can just not be driving at night. If I can do it, I might sneak into this Western Star. Oh yeah, I can get into this. This will be easy. We'll just stay at the Western Star Dealer. What the heck? Go in reverse. Come on. Why are you not? Why are you not sleeping? Why are you no sleep? I'm in the sleeping stalls. What else do you want from me? Do I have to like pull all the way in or? I'm literally all the way down in the sleeping stalls. Whatever. It's only 85 miles. We can drive one more night trip.
Well, thank you, Kyler and Claw. I'm uh, glad that you're enjoying the spice up and changing. Now, we are bringing FS style of content to different games, but uh, you did not just see that. But we are going to be doing a little bit. Wow, that is. That was really detailed. But we'll get back on the road because I'm not going to deal with that. If the thing does not want to let me sleep, we're going to do one more night trip. Finish it off. Yes, this game I have it. I bought it on Steam. Basically, it's like if you have the sleeper, then you should be able to sleep. Something about things are closed. Jordan, no, this is not a multiplayer game. Well, it is a multiplayer game, but the one that I'm doing right now, Chet's riding solo. At least I discovered a Western Star dealer. Oh, curb counter, I've hit like 70 curbs in this stream, so you might want to recalculate that one. Oh, come on. We go to the Holiday Inn. Uh, just for today, we've only been hauling cattle, but that's because this is technically this guy's job. Jet was a big bull hauler for us in FS, so that's all I really have been doing this entire stream. Otherwise, I'd be doing stuff that'd be like my low boy stuff, uh, just any other regular content. Yes, I am playing with a wheel. Might want to get over here. Are we clear? Do we have a car? No, we do not have anything next to us. Let's get back on the road. If you guys have not already, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to the stream down below as if we would like to get as many people in this as possible. As we also like to, uh, I also like to entertain you guys as much as I can throughout this stream. Sometimes it is a little bit quiet when I do, uh, do talk, but, you know, that's just sometimes that happens. But if you guys have not already, be sure to smash that like button. Uh, go check out the Boomstick Club for all the up-to-date content for me and the gang. You guys already know who's in it, but also be sure to check out the Rental Man Merchandise Store. Pick your guys up, subs, but... Pick up your guy. <laughs> Go ahead and pick you guys up some gear. I'm not even gonna try anymore. I hate grammar. <laughs> let's smash that like button. Let's see if we can at least get to 300 likes by the end of this trip, and uh, we'll call that good. If we can get to 300 by the end of this, I'll be very happy. We got 116 current viewers. You guys have been fantastic. You've been sticking around. We're having fun. Thank you, goalie. I'm uh, I'm glad you enjoy the backdrop behind me. I finally got a shelf to kind of help disperse and display the rest of that stuff as it used to just be uh, the one pedal tractor that sat in the corner. Plus, I got a new lamp, so that really does help with lighting. Yeah, Grammarly cannot be embedded in my head, thank you. I'm like Bobby Hill when he was failing English in King of the Hill. Bobby, you speak English. Why do you have an F? Because I don't do punctuation. Or more likes, or more likes. Like spike, like spike. Here we go. You have a 40. <laughs> hey, we hit 300 likes. I got the three counter on there. Now I'm greedy. Let's go get more. Let's shoot for 400, 350, something. Actually, yes, let's shoot for a small block Chevy on the likes, all right? If you like small block Chevys, let's hit 350 likes. Baylor? I don't know what kind of Baylor you're talking about. This isn't really a Baylor. 1,000. Yeah, I don't think we have enough... I don't think we have enough fuel in the tank to do that many. If you like 350 small blocks, hit that like button down below. Or 351 Clevelands and Windsors. I don't know what a Dodge version of those would be. 
You know, they got, well, we could we could shoot for 426 legs for the Hemis. I do not farm. I'm just currently wearing my makeshift Chet Elderson outfit. Yo! I'm getting hungry. My stomach's rumbling. I should have eaten a little bit more for lunch. And breakfast. Absolute favorite car, 2012, and it has to be a 2012. It also has to be white with the black trim stripe painting, white Recaro seats, and a white ball shifter. 2012 Mustang Boss 302. Cannot be black, cannot be red, cannot be blue, cannot be green, cannot be 2013. Has to be 2012. Recaro seats, white ball shifter. Pinnacle. I have played SnowRunner, and I still have it installed. I just don't want to update 60 gigabytes worth of an update. Favorite food? Food. I love food. It's usually pretty good. I would like to actually do farm stuff or farm related stuff. Mainly, uh, I like baling. Now, stacking bales, that's obviously a pain in the butt. But I still, that would probably be the most ideal thing I would get into. And then I would help people like my neighbors or... Uh, some friends around there if they were doing like grain and root crop and all that stuff. Hello. We're shooting across the lanes. 69 Camaro SS. That's not a bad shoot, bud. I'd like to get myself a 69 Boss 429, but that is an expensive car. Especially if you want to get one that's matching numbers and perfect condition. What I actually also would really want to get, this is the second dream car. It, it, the color doesn't necessarily matter, but it has to be a two-door version. 59 Impala. Cannot be a four-door, cannot be a 58, cannot be a 60. 59, teardrop tear lights. Fifty hour haul, coast to coast. Woo! That's a long one. No thank you. Oh, the baler on the shelf. 560R. Forty-two thirty. Oh, we're on dirt. You cannot get American Truck Sim on Xbox. To my knowledge, it is not a console game. Ah, yes, another ranch. What a way to end it. What a way to end it. Right hand turn here. And here we go. And there is our last drop-off point. Not too shabby, not too long of a drive. Here, here, here we go. Come on, baby. Don't hit the, do not hit that power pole. Okay, whip it around here. There, here, here we go. And we'll finish it off by backing it in within the cab. Why not? Uh, as for making videos with Grant on the 80s, it's not really going to be a great idea because of the fact that the way he makes those videos, I just basically run around and do random tasks so it looks like there's stuff being done on the farm. My perspective wouldn't make much sense. 
because then I have to do all the other different characters, and it's like it just it just wouldn't line up very well. And there she goes. Excellente. We used 12 gallons of diesel. That is sad. This thing is not fuel efficient in the slightest. But either way, guys, thank you all so much for checking this one out. We were live for 2 hours and 48 minutes. Basically, by the time this is wrapped up, about 2 hours and 50 minutes worth of content. So thank you all for coming out here as I still don't necessarily know. Let me actually check here quick. I pull this over. Can I pull the, this thing over or what can I do to see this? I don't know what that number is. 316. Is that what we're at here? Steam analytics. I don't necessarily know what we're at for like count, but either way, that is going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you all so much for checking this one out. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend as I'm kind of glad we could bring in Chet's truck for a live stream on that. That was kind of fun. I was waiting all week to do this one. But I hope you guys, like I said, have the great rest of your weekend. We shall see you all in the next one. This is the Rental Man out. Peace. Maybe.